This is your beginner's guide to help you learn about anti-lag. Tag or send it to someone that needs to learn about cars, because I'm Matt and I like talking about them. And this is Rockers Drive Club. What is anti-lag? Anti-lag is designed to reduce or eliminate turbo lag. Turbo lag is the delay between the engine and when the turbocharger is at peak speed after you hit the throttle. The bigger the delay, the slower the acceleration. The main goal of it is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. Anti-lag is to keep the turbocharger spinning when you're off throttle so that you have peak power while shifting or letting off during or for a corner. While your mom's Accord might have a turbo, it's too small of a turbo to realize any real lag. Like the lag of, let's say, a single turbo BMW 335i or, or a big turbo super would. Smaller turbos spool quicker than bigger turbos, but bigger turbos can provide more power. How does anti-lag work? Anti-lag works by holding on to boost pressure during periods when the driver is not actively accelerating. This is achieved by manipulating the air-fuel mixture in the engine. Generally, an anti-lag system will introduce extra fuel or air into the exhaust manifold to maintain combustion, which in turn keeps the spinny boy spinning. Some anti-lag systems or tunes might alter the ignition timing or use additional mechanical devices to regulate exhaust flow. What are the components of an anti-lag system? While in newer cars it might just be a tune on the ECU, the key components of an anti-lag system include the turbocharger, exhaust manifold, and a control unit that regulates the air and fuel injection, if not the ECU. Depending on the type of anti-lag you opt for, it might also involve solenoids, bypass valves, and additional ignition elements designed to manage the combustion process effectively. Why do cars use anti-lag though? Well, anti-lag is primarily used in turbocharged cars, where rapid acceleration is critical. By reducing turbo lag, anti-lag ensures the power is readily available whenever the driver hits the throttle, enhancing the car's response time and overall acceleration. Please note, this only works after the turbo has spooled up, and it doesn't last forever. Which type of vehicles commonly use anti-lag? Most commonly associated with motorsports, anti-lag is also found in some high-performance road cars. Again, this is only beneficial in turbocharged cars. The most popular sport is probably with rally and some F1 cars. You might even have anti-lag and not even know. Your popped and bang tune or popcorn tune or whatever you want to call it is most likely just anti-lag if you're boosted and depends on how it's tuned. These pops and bangs are generally the byproduct of anti-lag. Follow me if you love driving and cars and if you want to understand your car better.